In the next couple of minutes, I'm going to talk about three major topics regarding influenza. First of all, burden of influenza disease. Second, what is the role of influenza annual vaccination? And three, what can we do to improve influenza vaccination rates? Starting with burden of influenza disease. The influenza disease is a big major issue on public health because according to worldwide, worldwide organization, 10 to 20% of the world population gets an influenza infection every year. In Europe, for example, at least 10% of adult population and one third of the children get every year an influenza infection. This is big numbers, big problems, and big numbers and big problems represent a big problem to public health authorities and represent a high consumption of healthcare resources, morbidity and mortality. So this is an important disease because of the attack rate. What is the role of influenza vaccination? Influenza annual vaccination is the most effective method to prevent influenza disease and its complications. Influenza vaccination, it's very important to prevent the disease, but also very important to prevent its complications. And the complications, most of the complications are related to mortality and morbidity. And people die sometimes from secondary bacterial pneumonia and exacerbation of chronic diseases. Who should get vaccinated? We don't have available number of vaccines to give the vaccine to everybody, so we should uh, get the vaccine to the people who need most. And the people who need most are people older than 65 years old, pregnant women, immunocompromised patients, patients with chronic diseases, older than six months of age, and healthcare workers. What can we do to improve vaccination rates? First of all, we need to inform our patients that there is a flu campaign. Flu campaign usually starts on September, October and ends in December. So we need to address this issue in TV, news, media. We, so we, we need also to get a reimbursement. Countries with the reimbursement politics have higher the flu coverage rates. And finally, the most important, people who get an advice from healthcare worker usually are more, have higher uh, uh, prevalence of coverage of influence. So if you are a healthcare professional, you must advise your, your patients to get a flu shot. And most important, you should give the example because you are a risk group. You should protect yourself, you should protect your families, and you should protect your patients. This year, don't forget, get a flu shot.